To everybody involved in Chaos Collaboration number one, first, I want to say thank you. And second, I would like to introduce you to your blank. Take a look at this. I'm going to just do a slow pan so you can look for your names. Some of them are upside down. It depends on which side of the blank um, I squared so that I could glue it to uh, the squared side of another blank. And occasionally, that means that the blanks uh, are upside down. But hopefully, you can find your name in here. Most of the blanks have the type of wood written on them. There were a couple of blanks that ended up getting cut on the ends so that I could uh, move half the blank to the other end uh, to be able to offset the blanks so that they, you know, they have more of a brick pattern when they're stacked. But uh, overall, I think it turned out absolutely fantastic. This is the largest chaos blank I have ever made. It's going to make a bunch of blanks and they are going to be beautiful. After I show you this side, I'm gonna flip it around and show you something else. This is kind of neat. As I was gluing the blanks up, I was wiping the glue off the back side of the blank and it kind of put like a finish on it where it's a little bit shiny, it looks really nice. Now the last glue up I did, uh, I couldn't lift it up because it was so heavy, it kept coming apart. Uh, so I left it laying on the uh, paper and the paper, some of the paper glued to the blank there and there. Uh, it's not going to be a big deal. That'll turn off. But uh, if you ignore the paper and just look at the blank, it's got a really beautiful look. All that wood with that little bit of a shine from the glue on it. I could not be happier with that. Here's your blank. I've cut the 30 degree angles all the way through it. I'm at the point now where I'm going to mix it all up and uh, get it as square, back as square as I can. And then we're going to start our glue ups. Here's a look at your blank. It is all mixed up and we are ready for glue. I wanted to give you a progress shot. I've got a nice big block here drying up. Another large block here. These are the remaining small glue ups. Uh, they're dry now, so they're gonna get glued to this block. And later today, these two will get joined together and uh, we'll let it dry overnight. And tomorrow we'll make the 30 degree cuts in the opposite direction on the big blank and uh, begin glue ups for the final uh, blank that will cut into your chaos blanks. Good news is these have dried long enough. They can come out of the clamps. That means all of my little hand clamps are free. And what that means is, guess what? Glue ups start today on chaos two. I am really excited to get this one going. Well, chaos one fans, here is your blank. It's drying. We will wait until tomorrow to cut the 30 degree in the opposite direction. Uh, I'll give you a better look at the blank uh, once I uh, get it out of clamps tomorrow. Here's a quick peek at the Chaos One blank with its 30 degree cuts. It's all glued up, dry, and ready to go back onto the table saw for the 30 degree cuts in the opposite direction. Here is the Chaos One blank. It is complete and ready to be cut into individual blanks. And here's how we're gonna approach that. I'm gonna use my Inkra sled so that I can put the blank against my fence. You'll notice the grain runs this away. So I'm gonna run through the blade right along here as close as we can to waste the least amount as possible. That'll give us a nice flat edge. We'll then set up our fence on the table saw and we'll run our blanks through the blade, moving the fence over a quarter of an inch at a time and cutting strips off of the blank, just like this. We'll then take those strips over to the bandsaw We'll set a stop block at five inches and we'll run the long strips through the bandsaw to make our five inch chaos blanks. So it won't be long, we're gonna be doing a drawing for blanks. Here's a quick peek at all of the chaos one long blank strips. Very shortly, we will cut these into five inch lengths and then we'll be ready to do the drawing to see who gets which blank. Here are all of the chaos one blanks each of these blanks is cut to five inches. Got quite a nice selection here. And I'd like to show you something else. These blanks are all slightly longer than five inches. It got down to where if I cut the end off of these blanks to make them five inches long, I would have had a bunch of little nubby cutoffs. So I decided to leave these six blanks long. They will be in the drawing, so there's a potential you could get a blank longer than five inches in length. And this is the selection of blanks under five inches. These will not be in the drawing.